With advancements and changes in urban transportation, here are two new bikes on the scene that caught our eye. One new bike is military grade, another is made of cardboard, but both promise to change the way people view urban transport. Living in the city means that space can be an issue. Even the most secure bike lock can be broken, and keeping it in your apartment can be infeasible at worst and gross at best. That's where the Montag comes in. It was invented for use by paratroopers. It folds up into the size of a backpack so that troops can drop down and hit the ground biking. It was designed as a mountain bike, so there's no puddle this bad boy can't handle. At a thousand bucks, it's not cheap, but the bragging rights alone make this bike worth considering. And if you have the space, but not the dough, an Israeli inventor has created an almost entirely cardboard bicycle. It won't have any metal in it whatsoever, and it's going to retail for $20. It's easy to imagine this bicycle changing a lot of lives worldwide. The inventor is releasing three models and a wheelchair within the calendar year. No matter what your budget or priorities, there's a way to get around town and in style. October being breast cancer month, a lot of companies put out products in pink to help support the search for a cure. But one company is going one step further with the invention of a bra that can detect cancer before any mammogram can. The bra is called the BSE, which stands for Breast Self Exam. It looks like an everyday sports bra, because to the naked eye, it is one. What makes it work is a network of heat sensors woven into the fabric. When a tumor is growing, blood vessels grow as well. And when they do, they create enough heat for the bra to detect. This heat signature can be traced years before a tumor has grown large enough to be found by a traditional mammogram. It's got an accuracy rate of over 90% according to three clinical trials they've run thus far. And whatever the bra detects can be sent wirelessly to a nearby smartphone or computer. It will hit European markets first next year with the US to hopefully approve it in 2014. Whenever it launches in Canada, it'll be a welcome lift to the fight on breast cancer. Thank you.